Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Boom City. Today we'll see one other real time SQL that is Covin Dropdown. So when we log into Covin application, you can able to see the screen like select your state and select your district. Okay. So if you see here, when I select this state, you see uh, state drop dropdowns has been popular like Andaman and Nicobar, Andhra Pradesh. So what are the uh, states are there? It will be populated here. So when I click on Andhra Pradesh, only Andhra Pradesh district needs to be populated. So when I click on Telangana, only Telangana district needs to be populated. So we'll we'll discuss how it get populated. Hope the requirement is clear. Okay. So in order to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept like DDM, data definition language that is create statement, DML. So data manipulation language that is incest statement, TCL, transaction control language. Select DRL statement, data ritual language. Where class used for filtering the condition. Constraints, okay. You should have you should know what is constraint, what are the constraints available in Varak. So primary key, foreign key. So these are the constraints you should know and not null constraint. So in this requirement, will you make use of primary key, foreign key, and not null constraint? And in it cap order by class. Okay, if you know this concept, it is very it is very easy to understand the requirement. Okay. And also alias, column alias. Now we'll see one example like department details. So in this department details, I'm having two columns, department ID, department name. It is having two records, 100 IT department, 200 is the HR department. So if you see employee detail. So in employee details, if you see here, three records are there, okay, for the department ID, 100, 200, 300. So if you see here, we are having 200 department, 100 and 200 department, but data got in what? 300 department. Okay, if you see here, department ID, so 100 department, 200 department, but we are data getting populated. So this is what this this is invalid data. Why? Because see, without 300 department, we are having the employees working for 300. So it is it is a invalid data. In order to overcome this one, we should make so primary key and foreign key. So foreign key is nothing but relationship between parent and child relationship. So that valid data only will be entered. So for these two tables, we should maintain referential integrity. That is foreign key on the department ID. So the data will get populated. So same concept we'll use here in our requirement. Now let us discuss our requirement one more time. Our requirement is what? Our requirement is to populate the state list and populate the and based on particular state, particular districts only need to be populated. So if you see, first requirement is what? I want to populate the list of states. So for this purpose, I am creating one table that is state list. It is having two columns, state ID, state name. So I am creating primary key. And if you see here, this is the state name. And in a similar fashion, I am creating one more table that is district list. It is having three columns, district ID, district name, state ID. See, state ID is the parent table, state is the parent table, and district list is the child table. So how I'm looking by using foreign key, state ID, number, references, state list, state ID. So this is nothing but foreign key relationship. Okay. Parent and child relationship, Otherwise, which column, state ID. Hope this is clear. Okay, this is very, very important. Okay, so primary key, this is the state ID, this is the foreign key. Okay. So parent and child relationship established by using state ID column. Now I'm populating some data, some dummy data. So if you see here, first state list, I'm populating five records, Arunachal Pradesh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and Madhya Pradesh. So these are the I state IDs, these are the state names. So in a similar fashion, I'm populating data for district, see, for Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is what? Three. So state ID is three. So for if you see, district ID, district name, state name, state ID. So three. In a similar fashion, if you see, dummy data for Telangana district. So why I have populated two in the sense like, see, for Telangana state ID is two. That's why I'm putting two, two. Okay, one more time. So I'm creating one table, state list and district list. State ID, state ID is the common for both tables. Okay, so I'm populating data, state list, see, for state list, I'm having the five states, state ID, state name. And if you see for Andhra Pradesh, I'm having one, two, three, district ID, district name state id if you see three is nothing but three is the andhra pradesh okay state is the andhra pradesh in a similar fashion if you see two is what state id for telangana so we are having linking back by using state id state id hope this is clear now we'll first requirement to state drop down okay see i want to display the drop down like this so if i select star from state list what will happen we are getting the data state id state name five districts five states are there. So if you see here, our requirement is what when you see here, it is displaying in what? First letter in uppercase, first letter in up, first letter of the word in uppercase. So A is uppercase, P is uppercase, A uppercase, P. How it can be achieved by using init game. And also if you see A, 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 B. 
this is nothing but sorting. So we need to perform init cap operation as well as sorting operation of the state. So if you see, this is our table data. But what we want to display to the user in a, in a init cap and that first letter of the word should be in upper case and it should be in a sorted order. How can we achieve using init cap and odd by class? So we'll write the query. So select state ID. Next init cap. So init cap, what will give? It will give initial letter capital. That is first letter of the word to be capital letter. Okay, this is the column alias I'm using from state list table. So if I use order by class, so order by two in the sense like second column I am sorting. So it is an ascending set. So by default, you see ascending set. So we'll get a requirement like Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. Okay, it's a sorting order. And if you see first letter of the word in upper case, the first requirement is completed. Now we'll see after selecting the particular state, I want to display particular requests, particular district request. If I select for Andhra Pradesh, this ID, if you see, this ID is not, these should be populated with query. Okay. So second requirement is that I have, based on a particular state, I want to dis display the particular districts. So if you see here, state list table and district list table. Okay, if you see, this is the state list table I have created. It is having five records with five states. And if you see here, this is the district list table with district ID, district name, state ID. So district, okay, if you see, I have populated for three in a sense like what? Three is nothing but what? It said Andhra Pradesh districts. Kadapa, Ishtugodar, Chittura, Andhra Pradesh district. Hyderabad, Madhuk, and Adilabad are which district, which states it is Telangana's districts. So select star from, if you see him, this is related to Andhra Pradesh district and this is related to Telangana district. How can we identify by using state ID? If you see state ID has been there so that we can able to have parent and child relationship. So if you select for Telangana districts, two should be populated with a particular query. If I select for Andhra Pradesh, three should be populated. So we'll write the query, select district name, district ID, so in it cap is to, to make the first letter of the word in uppercase. District name is the column layers from district list. So where state ID equals to three. So three nothing but it's an Andhra Pradesh districts. So we need to sort them by using second column. So if see here, we get the disk. Okay. So this is in a sorted manner. And you see in it cap, first letter of the word in uppercase. Hope this is clear. Now second, now we'll see one more one more example. That is Telangana. If I select for Telangana, Telangana districts needs to be populated. So for Telangana ID is there, this ID should be passed to district ID, district details table. So we'll see. So if I select for Telangana, Telangana ID is there. This ID like 02 will be populated the district list table. So that only district Telangana district will get populated. So district ID. Same thing, egg only. This only state code will be modified. So district name is the column alias from district list. So where state ID equals to two. Two is nothing but it's a Telangana state code. Order by two, six. On sorting by district name. So if you see here, we're getting the same result. Okay. In what ascending order? Okay. Hope this is clear. Uh, from August 23rd, we are starting a new PLS real time training program. It's a five week program. So, in this, we'll cover like real time use cases with all the real time cases you can able to cover. So, if you are interested and if you are interested to join this batch, you can able to reach out this number. Okay. So, I will guide you on this thing. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.